Well, we're back. We're going to turn it on now. When we do, you'll see the current pop up to a value of about 6 amperes on this meter here and then settle back to a value of about 2.5 amps, which is the steady state value the uh, instrument uh, requires. This is again at 28 volts DC. This is the indicator unit. At first, nothing will happen and then after the tubes have had a chance to warm up, which is about 20 seconds or so, the needle will slide up to the uh, about the 130 foot mark corresponding to the length of electrical cable we have connected between the transmit and receive ports on this, uh, on this uh, unit. So we'll switch it on now. You'll hear at first the whine of the dynamotor as it spins up and you'll see the current uh, jump there and then settle down. So here we go. The current has reached its steady state value already. Altitude still zero while we warm up. There it goes. So as it settles in, it takes a little while to settle down to its final value. As the tubes warm up, the component values shift slightly. But everything has been uh, specified to give a reading of uh, 130 feet with an electrical uh, cable length of 260, which is what we have. And you see that's about where it is on the, uh, on the reading. Now, uh, that is for the low range, the 400 foot maximum range. If we change the range to the high range, that's 4,000 feet, the needle will consequently drop down to that reading. The, the, the whole range is multiplied by 10 on that scale, so the needle will drop down to about here, corresponding to 130 feet. So let's do that, let's switching to 4,000 foot range. And as you see, the needle has dropped down to the corresponding position on the high range. The zeros get added here. The uh, scale is in hundreds of feet, so the top scale is now 40 times 100 feet. If we go back to the low range, you see that turns into a 4, reminding the, uh, the operator of which range he is on. And that concludes our demonstration of the operation of the RT7 APN1. Thank you for watching. Switch it off now.